Thanks. John, who's going to get fired over this? Peter, the purpose of the document that we're putting out today uh, is to sort of collate the chief reviews and findings of the agencies that did after action reviews. Um, uh, the, it, it's not, the, the purpose of it is not accountability. It's the purpose of it is military leaders. The purpose of advice. it is Doesn't to study like lesson you learned. That the intel was bad. So how can President Biden ever trust when they come into the Oval Office with the PDB that anything in there is legit? What I said was... That intelligence is a mosaic. What if the mosaic, all the pieces are incorrect? What I said was intelligence is hard business, and they get it right a lot, too. Um, there were some pieces here that weren't accurate, and we're being nothing but honest with you and the American people about what those inaccuracies were and how they shaped some of the decision making that was laid before the president and, and his qu and the questions that he that he asked. This document and this effort it isn't about accountability today. It's about understanding. And I would also add that the re as I said to Ed, the review process isn't over. This is this is the next muscle movement in what will be a long process to better understand and comprehend and adjust to what we learned and what we did in Afghanistan. But it, it doesn't seem like after the country has had a couple months to review this and as the government has, people don't have an issue with the decision to order troops out of Afghanistan. It is with the way that this president ordered it done. There were children being killed. There were people hanging off of Air Force jets that were leaving. And you're saying that you guys are proud of the way that this mission was conducted? It doesn't proud mean- of, of that? Proud of the fact that we got more than 124,000 people safely out of Afghanistan? You bet. Proud of the fact that American troops were able to seize control of a defunct airport and get it operational in 48 hours? You bet. Proud of the fact that we now have about 100,000 Afghans, our former allies and partners, living in this country and working towards citizenship? You bet. But does that mean that everything went perfect in that uh, evacuation? Of course not. I've talked about it from a, di a different podium. The after action reviews are now being reviewed by members of Congress, which will lay out things that could have gone better. Nobody's saying that everything was perfect. But there was a lot that went right. And a lot of Afghans are now living better lives in this country and other countries around the world because of the sacrifices and the work of so many American government officials. So yeah, there's a lot to be proud of, Peter.